okay, before I tell you what's happening. Okay. You've said that one of the things, one of the procedures in Cuba is the kid ha has to be ready to stand up and talk about something. Could you explain that a little bit better? It's not catechism, uh, apparently. Yes. Uh, well, for one thing, uh, I say I, I came to school in 1975. So, and my father, of course, had been a school principal before I came to school. We, well, I, I say we have covered, me and my father, this, the last 60 years of, of, of Cuba. And I have never seen at any level, multiple choice questions in Cuba. I mean, no, I mean, the least demanding thing I have, I have seen would be like a match exercise for recognition, but we never did go down so solo as multiple choice questions. But we think that we don't want students who develop recognition, we want students that can develop critical thinking and, and, uh, and analysis. So for every question that there is, of course there is, the human class has different moments. Uh, you have your independent work in the classroom, your assignments at home, you have, uh, but sometimes, uh, this is mostly true when you are going to uh, summarize a type of class, maybe it was a content presentation class, or maybe it was a workshop, or maybe it was just a debate class on whatever subject it was. Uh, by the very end, two or three students will be asked to stand up and give their personal interpretation of the question or the matter being discussed. And someone will have to stand up and agree or disagree with that student and a third one will have to stand up and probably come on the way of the two and then even the teacher or maybe if the teacher understands that one student at least has the whole summarization of the thing, that one will stand up. It's, it's a way to have the students and everybody engaged up to the last minute because it's, it's right there in the last minute where the, the, all, the, um, all the observations all the conclusions and all the concepts will be summarized for the students to go home with. I find it to be a very interesting thing because it keeps the students' attention up to the, it, it even grows more as the class approaches the end because that's when that's when everybody will be given the main ideas of what the day was like. Uh, however, students are never asked to stand up and recite something they have learned from the books. It's simply because we don't do that type of education. We we don't say things that are in the book. Things that are just in the book and for you to interpret them and to give you a personal assessment or evaluation of or take of, of the exercise. And uh, and that that is a thing that starts when you're when you're six years old in first grade, because every time you're gonna to talk to the teacher in Cuba you have to and, and if you're answering a question, you have to stand up. Or if you're asking a question, you have to stand up just for the rest of the class to see, to notice. So it's a, it's a process that students get pretty much used to as they grow old. And, and I say university level, for example, almost everything you do is it's, it's standing up and debating and and, and answering in front of a panel or, or in front of a teacher. And you probably write only by the end of each year, which you write a dissertation or a thesis or, or a research paper or something. But most of the education is based on teaching students how to have individualized understanding of the content matter. By the way, it's one of the reasons why, and this is more social than educational now, this is one of the reasons why each Cuban has a take on whatever thing you ever ask. Cubans will never shut up. They will always have an opinion, because we were trained to have an opinion. By the way, another point, very, very uh, probably contradictory to say that in a country
country where most people think opinions don't matter, that we are indoctrinated. Well, that's part of the richness that Colin describes in one of his emails when he says, no, if there is indoctrination here, it's at a level that we cannot perceive because everybody does have an opinion of the people voice their concerns and they have ways to back up and to, you know, to the things that we say. It's probably because we are also very much trained into that type of stand up and give your interpretation, have someone contradict what you've said and then explain your point of view, give your evidence, support what you're saying. Is that type of classical Roman debate, classical Greek debate, it's pretty much how, how we we learn in Cuba. Absolutely fast.